relations of multiplication is not commutative in general. We have shown that alpha is equals to the permutations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5, 1, 3 and beta is equals to the permutations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. Alpha into beta, this is alpha, columns of beta rearranged so that the first line of beta is same as second line of alpha. Therefore, we can cancel the second line of alpha and the first line of beta and hence we get the product as alpha into beta is equals to the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Their corresponding images are 1, 4, 5, 3, 2. Now let us find what is the value of beta into alpha. Beta into alpha, this is the uh, permutation beta, this is the permutation alpha. Now to get the product, normally we rearrange the columns of the second permutation, namely alpha here. We have to rearrange so that the first line of alpha is exactly same as the second line of beta. Therefore, now we write 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5. What is the image of 3? Image of 3 is 5. And image of 1 is 2. Image of 2 is 4. Image of 4 is 1. Image of 5 is 3. The second line of beta is same as the first line of alpha. Therefore, cancel them and we get beta into alpha is equals to the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 2, 4, 1, 3. Now look at this alpha into beta, beta into alpha. In alpha into beta, the image of 1 is 1. Whereas in beta into alpha, image of 1 is 5. That is different. That is different. Therefore, alpha into beta not equals to beta into alpha. The first line of alpha and beta are the same. But the second line are different. That is the images are different. Therefore, these two are not the same permutation. They are different permutations. And hence, alpha into beta not equals to beta into alpha. Therefore, permutations of multiplication is not commutative in general. Let S suffix N or P suffix N be the permutation group on N symbols. Let A is equals to the set having elements A1, A2, A3, so on, AN. These are the N symbols. A1, A2, A3, A4, AN. SN forms a non-abelian group for n is greater than or equals to 3. And remember that SN has n factorial elements. SN forms an abelian group for n is equals to 1 or n is equals to 2. That is S1 and S2 are abelian. S1 has 1 factorial is equal to 1 element and S2 has 2 factorial is equal to 4 elements. Let us recall the least order of a non-abelian group is 6. That is any group having elements less than or equals to 5 is abelian. From 6 onwards, it may be abelian, may not be abelian. But 6 is not abelian. 7 is abelian. This so on. That we will learn in the next chapter. Now we define what is a cyclic permutation. In the earlier classes, in your intermediate, you have learned permutation and combinations. There are two types of permutations. One is linear permutations. Other is cyclic permutation. Similarly here, even in uh, modern algebra, we have a cyclic permutation. Cyclic permutations will be arranged in the form of a cycle or circular form. Round table conference are arranged in the cyclic permutation. A permutation 
विच रिप्लेसेस एन ऑब्जेक्ट साइक्लिकली इज कॉल्ड ए साइकिल और सर्कुलर परमुटेशन ऑफ डिग्री एन द परमुटेशन अल्फा इज इक्वल्स टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग इमेजेस आर टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन सच दैट वन गोस टू 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 गोस टू थ्री थ्री गोस टू फोर फोर गोस टू फाइव फाइव गोस टू वन दट इज वन गोस टू 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 गोस टू थ्री थ्री गोस टू फोर फोर गोस टू फाइव फाइव गोस टू वन That is the last number goes to the first. Generally, we adopt two line notations to represent a permutation in group theory. We can adopt a one line notation only for a cyclic permutation where alpha, the above permutation alpha is equals to one, two, three, four, five. That is. One goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to five. Would mean a cycle, a cyclic permutation, meaning thereby that each number in the first line is replaced by its successive on the right and the last one by the first. That each number in the first line. Is replaced by its successive on the right, and the last being replaced by the first one. Then replaced by two. Two is replaced by three. Three is replaced by four. Four is replaced by five. Five is replaced by one. That is, one is replaced by two. Two is replaced by three. Three is replaced by four. Four is replaced by five, and five is replaced by one. Alpha is equal to one, two, three, four, five. That is, one is replaced by two, two is replaced by three, three is replaced by four, four is replaced by five, five is replaced by one. The length of this permutation is five. The number of elements in it. Alpha is equal to The cycle one two three four five. That is one goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to five, five goes to one. In other words, a permutation in which each element in the first line is replaced by the number succeeding it, and the last being replaced by the first is called a cyclic permutation. If we consider the cycle, this is number one. This one is replaced by two, or one goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to five, five goes to one. Again, one goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, four goes to five, five goes to one. That is, one is replaced by two, two is replaced by three, three is replaced by four, four is replaced by five, five is replaced by one. So this is in the form of cycle, and again, this permutation is known as cyclic permutation. The expression for any permutation in terms of cycles. The first point is, if beta is a permutation one three two four five three two one four five, this can be expressed in terms of a cycle or product of cycles. Here one goes to three, three goes to two, two goes to one, but four is left unchanged. Five is also left unchanged, and hence we can write this as one, two, three, three, two, 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 one. That is one. One goes to three. Three goes to two. Two goes to one. Two goes to one. So one goes to three. Three goes to two. Two goes to one. This cycle. That is beta is equal to one three two four five three two one four five. That is equal to the cycle one three two. Now the identity permutations, namely four and five, will not be written in a cycle. One goes to three. Three goes to two. Two goes to one. One goes to three. Three goes to two. Two goes to one. Whose length is three? That is, the cycle has only three elements. The degree is five because it has five elements on five symbols. But the length is three. 
the missing symbols 4 and 5 remain unchanged in the permutation if a is equals to the set having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that is A has 6 elements or we say A has 6 symbols then a permutation F on A is the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 second line 3, 1, 4, 6, 5, 2 then F can be written as if we see the given permutation 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 6, 6 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, 1 to 1. The number 5 is left unchanged, whereas all other elements are in the cyclic order. Therefore, F can be written as the cycle 1 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 2, 2 to 1. This F also can be written as start with 3. That is, you need not start with always the 1. You can start with any number in the first line. You can start with any number in the first line of the given permutation. Start with 3. Then we can write in the cyclic order 3 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 2, 2 to 1, then 1 to 3. The only thing is you have to maintain the, the cyclic order. So while writing this, you can start with any number without changing the order. Or we can start with number 2. If we start with 2, the next number is 2 goes to 1, 1 goes to 3. 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 6, 6 goes to 2 or you can start with 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 3, then 3 to 4, the starting point. So once you start with any point, we have to end with that point and remember that the number 5 is missing here because 5 remains unchanged. A cycle does not change by changing the places of its elements provided their cyclic order is not changed. Third example, if the permutation, the first line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, second line 4, 3, 5, 1, 2, 6, is a permutation on A, then F is not a cyclic permutation. 1 goes to 4, 4 goes to 1. Then 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 5, 5 goes to 2. 6 remain unchanged. But this, this F can be written as product of two cycles namely 1 to 4, 4 to 1. That is one cycle. Then 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 2 is another cycle. That is this F can be written as product of two cycles. The fourth one F is equals to the cyclic permutation 1, 3, 4, 6 is a cyclic permutation on 6 symbols namely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here number 2 and 5 are missing its inverse is the cycle 6, 4, 3, 1 that is the reverse order you have to write 6, 4, 3, 1 or you can start with any number as we discussed just now. Start with 1, then 1, 6, 4, 3, 1, etc. In order to write the inverse of a cycle, we write its elements in the reverse order. Fifth point, a cycle of order 1 is the identity permutation since f of a1 is a1, f of a2 is a2, f of a3 is a3 that is the elements and their images remain unchanged. That is i is equal to 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to 5, 6 to 6. Now we will define what is transposition. A cycle of length 2 is called a transposition. Examples. If A is equal to the set having elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a permutation F on A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 
टू फोर फाइव हियर द एलिमेंट वन फोर फाइव रिमेन अनचेंज देर फोर हियर वी कैन राइट दिस एस टू टू थ्री थ्री टू टू देर फोर दिस एफ कैन बी रिटर्न एस ए साइकिल ऑफ लेंथ टू टू नेमली साइकिल टू टू थ्री सिंस दिस साइकिल हैज ओनली टू एलिमेंट्स namely 2 and 3 whose length is 2 therefore this f is a transposition so f is a cycle of length 2 and degree 5 therefore permutation f on a is a transposition observe that f of 2 equal to 3 f of 3 equal to 2 and the image of each of the other elements is itself 1 1 4 4 5 5 image of 1 is 1 image of 4 is 4 image of 5 is 5 that is f of 1 equal to 1 f of 4 equal to 4 f of 5 equal to 5 hence f inverse is equals to 3 comma 2 this also can be written as 2 comma 3 that is nothing but f and hence we say that the inverse of transposition is itself that is f inverse is equals to f remember that in group theory the inverse of identity is itself similarly here the inverse of a transposition is itself that is the inverse of transposition is itself now we define what is disjoint cycles we are aware of disjoint sets we say that two sets are disjoint if they don't have any common elements similarly here if you consider a is equals to the set a1 a2 a3 an that is set a has n elements or n symbols if f and g b two cycles on a such set they have no common elements then f and g are called disjoint cycles that is cycles having no common elements are called disjoint cycles for example if f is equals to the cycle 1 3 7 and g is equal to the cycle 2 4 5 here f has three elements g also has three elements none of the elements are same so no element of f is there in g similarly no element of g is there in f and hence f and g are disjoint cycles if f is equal to 1 3 7 and g is equal to 2 3 4 5 but here f and g are not disjoint cycles the reason is 3 is a common number in both f and g and hence f and g are not disjoint cycles consider the permutation gamma that is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 1 5 4 we can write this as gamma is equals to 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 1 1 goes to 1 that is 1 2 3 then 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 4 and 5 so gamma has two cycles the first cycle is 1 2 3 the second cycle is 4 and 5 which are in product therefore gamma is a product of two cycles we can write gamma as the product of mutually disjoint cycles because in these two cycles none of the element is common therefore they are called mutually disjoint cycles product of two cycles over the same set consider a that having elements 1 2 3 4 5 that is a has five elements or a has five symbols let f is equals to the cycle 1 2 3 g is equal to the cycle 4 and 5 let us find the f in the g and the g in the f f in the g is 1 2 3 into 4 5 since here a has five symbols the cycle 1 2 3 can be written as f 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 1 4 5 that is 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 1 4 and 5 remain unchanged similarly the cycle 4 5 can be written as since 4 and 5 are involved 1 2 3 are not involved in this cycle 
they are identity permutations therefore 1 goes to 1 2 goes to 2 3 goes to 3 whereas 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 see here 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 now we are going to take the product whenever you want to find the product of two permutations we rewrite the columns of the second permutation so that the first line of the second permutation always same as the second line of the first permutation. Here we have rearranged the columns of the permutation G. Since we have to write 2, 3, 1, 4, 5. So 2 goes to 2. So 2, 2. 3 goes to 3. So 3, 3. 1 goes to 1. 1 goes to 1 here. 4 goes to 5. So 4 to 5. 5 goes to 4. So 5 to 4. Since the second row of the first permutation is same as the first line of the second permutation, we can simply cancel them and they write the product as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. The product of the two cycles namely 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 is nothing but the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. Let us call it as f into g equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us consider g into f. 4 into 5. We first write the cycle g, then the cycle f. Now we are going to have the product of these two cycles. In the first cycle we have 4 and 5. Therefore the first three elements namely 1, 2, 3 having the same image. 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3. Whereas 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4. Similarly in the second cycle we have elements 1, 2, 3. That is 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1. And 4 and 5 are missing. Therefore those two are identity permutation that is 4 goes to 4 5 goes to 5 that is image of 4 is 4 image of 5 is 5 and hence g in the f the product of the two cycles can be written as the product of two permutations 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 5 4 that is 1 goes to 1 2 goes to 2 3 goes to 3 that is the identity whereas 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 here 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 1 4 goes to 4, 5 goes to 5. We are going to take the product of these two. Therefore, now we are going to rearrange the columns of the second permutation, namely F. So, as the first line of F is equal to the second line of G, we have rearranged. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 3. 3 goes to 1, 5 goes to 5, 4 goes to 4. Therefore, now we can cancel the second line of G and the first line of F. We write as the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4. Now look at this F into G. F into G is a permutation and G and F is also the permutation in both permutations 1 goes to 2 that is image of 1 is 2 2 goes to 3 2 goes to 3 3 goes to 1 3 goes to 1 4 goes to 5 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 5 goes to 4 therefore GF and hence F into G is equals to G into F thus we conclude that product of disjoint cycles is commutative and remember that in general product of permutations is not commutative. Second example let A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 consider the cycle H is equal to 2, 4, 3, 5 there is a product of two disjoint cycles this can be written as 2 to 4, 4 to 2, 3 to 5, 5 to 3. Since 1 is missing here, we can write 1, 1. So 1, 1, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 2, 3 goes to 5, 5 goes to 3. The missing symbol 1 remains unchanged. A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. F into G equal to G into F. 
just now we discussed there is 1 2 3 equal to 4 into 5 if a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 then f into g equal to g into f that is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 1 5 4 6 that is the missing symbol can be inserted here as the sixth column or anywhere you can insert the sixth symbol f into g equal to g into f is equal to product of two cycles namely 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 that is we leave the identity permutations while writing the product of cycles that is important point here one is missing so we have not written one anywhere in the cycle here 6 is missing we have not written 6 in any of the cycles